Hi and welcome. During this uh, short video I would like to show you how to build an Electron desktop application and what we're going to do is we'll take the Angular uh, website and wrap it within a native desktop application so we could execute it on OS X and yeah I will I will start really really from scratch so I've already set it up an empty project directory right here and let's go and use the terminal to create all the files that we need in order to get started let's rearrange the terminal first okay looks good so let's go to the project directory and let's say we'd like to init a new package right here and let's create a folder for our sources and yeah we are we are ready to start so when it comes to building desktop applications using electron you need um, yeah three artifacts first of all you need of course the the application which we will use the existing angular website that you see in the back right here um, second one is a kind of manifest file and therefore the Electron team decided to use the package.json format so let's create another package.json inside of the source folder so don't uh, get confused by having two package.json's JSON files the one on top level is really taking care about the entire project where on the other side that the one inside of our source folder is only taking care about the metadata we need for our desktop application so there are tr three properties that are mandatory for actually creating a desktop application first of all is the name of course and this one is uh, maybe a little bit tricky depending on the name you choose for your application you have to strip out all those special characters uh, from the name because uh, for example Linux is enabled uh, to to deal with an exclamation mark in uh, the in the application name so take care about the the characters you use as the in the, within the application name so let's say this one is angular desktop and then we need to specify uh, the main file which is actually pointing to the a JavaScript file which I often refer as instruction file and the instruction file really yeah it, it, it tells Electron how it should behave or what it should do if the user starts the application so we will create it in a minute uh, side by side for the manifest file and call it index.js last but not least we need to specify a version and the version is actually representing the version number of your desktop application so let's let's uh, stick with 1.0.0 just to get started second one the instruction file i already mentioned let's create it side by side and call it index.js so right here we as i said we tell electron how it should behave if you start the application and Electron is offering a really really cool API which gives you uh, multiple multiple things so first of all you can you know um, interact with the life cycle of, of your Electron application and on the other side it gives you a bunch of APIs that allows or that empowers you as a developer to interact with native capabilities offered by all the different platforms like windows linux and mac os so but for now let's really really focus on get started so let's say we want to take care about what happens when the app starts and we want to create of course a visual representation which is uh, which you can do by using the the browser window class and we want those um, values being provided by the electron package itself so the app um, the app instance is providing a bunch of properties methods but we are right now mainly interested in events that are exposed from that type 
So for example, there is an event which is actually called when the, the, the app is ready. So when Electron has bootstrapped the node process and the Chrome rendering in engine may take a URL to and create a window or something like that. But there are several others like, for example, app on activate, which will be called when once the user reactivates or activates the app by clicking the icon from the dock or from the start menu and all the windows have been closed right before that. So those two are important about showing your main window or displaying a tray icon or something like that. And when it comes to shutting down the app, there is an event which is especially interested for platforms uh, like Windows and, and Linux because on those platforms um, each running application has to have a visual representation whereas on macOS you could you know close the window and reopen another one because in OS X you have the, the application menu on the top which is keeping the process alive so in order to deal with that there is a window all close closed event and we will take care about that in a minute so that said we will have a single window which will represent our application so let's store that in a in a variable on the on the context of our script and the window um, will be fine will be created in, in in two different um, lifecycle hooks. So first, of course, when the app bootstraps and is ready, and second one, if it's activated and no window is actually visible. So to keep the code simple and don't repeat ourselves, we are going to extract the method called create main window. And the create main window uh, method just goes there and say hey the window instance is a, a new instance of browser window and browser window takes uh, an optional configuration object and you, you should definitely go to the electron documentation there is a there are a whole bunch of options that you could provide and customize how the window will look like how it will behave is the user able to you know maximize it or to do the full screen or to use the full screen feature on OS X but for now, let's keep it simple. Let's say we want to specify the height, which is actually 1200 and the width. Let's say, um, no, let's do it the other way. 1200 and 800 over here. Maybe window is a little bit confusing. Let's call it win. win. Okay. So the browser window instance is also exposing different uh, different event, events and we would like to listen on the event um, ready to show. The ready to show event uh, has been introduced um, lately in, um, in Electron and it's uh, providing you a mechanism to do a graceful start as, is, as it is mentioned in the documentation. Because normally the, the Chrome or the application window would just pop up as soon as the Chromium process is ready to show something, uh, which means that end users may see the web application spinning up. To prevent that, you could say show and set show to false initially. And as soon as the window is ready to show something, we could say window.show. Okay, so so that's that's fine for now, but what happens if the browser window is created. Well, we would like to load our uh, Angular documentation site. So let's copy the URL and say win load URL and provide the URL as a string. Okay, so that's cool. So let's call in that function once the, the app is ready. And we would like to recreate the application window if the user clicks on the icon and the window has been closed right before that. So let's say if win equals null or if not win, which is a shorthand for that, 
we would like to create the window. On platforms like Windows and Linux, as I said, we would like to, to terminate the entire process if the main window is, has been closed. So we could access those properties like the platform you're running on by using the regular node objects or properties. And let's say process.platform, platform, if that's not equal to Darwin, which is the technical name, platform name for, for macOS, we would like to quit the app. Okay, let's double check that. Um, actually looks pretty good, but we are missing one thing. So if, if you start uh, with Electron, you may recognize that um, on OS X you can't use copy, um, paste and cut shortcuts without creating a custom application menu. So that's, that's the top menu bar you see on my screen right here. So Electron provides an API for that, which is the menu API. And let's create another function to create our menu. Create main menu. Menu um, provides a few methods and I will just copy the copy the, the menu template. So menus are being constructed from a JSON representation and instead of just writing those tons of JSON lines, oh, I already copied them and we will use them in a second. So menu set application menu takes a menu dot build from template and we will use a local variable called template. So let's paste in that and as you can see this these are around about 40 lines of of uh, JSON and we will re-up them in a minute. Let's put them down to the bottom. So as you can see there is a menu um, which is called edit and it has some entries like undo, redo, cut, copy and so on. And we have a reload feature so users could easily reload the application. So let's provide angular.io right here. And so users were able to hit command and R on, on macOS to reload the application. Okay, so, and we have to of course call our, create our menu. So create main menu. But we want that method only to be called once. So during the app startup. And yeah, that's it. So if I didn't, don't make any mistake, we should be fine and we could give our application a try. So Electron, there is a node module called Electron Prebuild, or actually it has been called uh, Electron Prebuild. They changed the name a few weeks ago. So that's the one you should definitely install on your system as a global dependency because it gives you uh, the possibility to just execute uh, the or just start an Electron app in the context of any folder. And you could install it by n by calling npm install Electron dash dash g or global, which will give you the Electron executable. If you execute it without any argument, it will, uh, one moment, it will just start uh, the electron wrapper and provide some instruction, link you to the documentation and so on. Or And you could just drag and drop the entire app folder right here to, to give it a try. Or you could provide the path to the folder where your, app, where your electron sources um, are living in as an argument. And for us, it's the source folder and let's give it a try. Let's start that again. And as you can see, we have our Angular side wrapped as an electron executable, and we should be able to copy and paste all the stuff. Right here, it is also integrated in the doc. So we have that application icon, but it's the electron prebuilt icon. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to 
use Electron Packager to take that application, package it as a real OS X application and provide an application icon for that.